In this video we will tell you the story of the brutal man who raped and killed 12 young girls in Pakistan. An ordinary looking person has been found involved in an extraordinary evil, rape and murder of at least 7 children, as young as 5 year old, reported by police in Kaja district of the Punjab during the last couple of years. The first investigation launched when a six-year-old girl from Kaja goes missing from home on 4th of January 2018. Her name was Zainab. The incident happened, when Zainab's parents had gone to Saudi Arabia for performing Umrah and Zainab was living with her uncle. On the 4th of January... On the 4th of January 2018, while going to a Quran tuition class which was very close to her house, she went missing. Her uncle, lodged a complaint with the Kaja district police office. Her body was later found in a garbage heap in Shahbaz Khan Road on the 9th of January 2018. After an autopsy, it was confirmed that she had been raped and strangled to death. The autopsy suggested that she endured captivity and torture before her murder. The child rape and murder case sparked violent protests across Kashmir as traders announced complete shutter-down strike for two days. The horrific killing made headlines across the globe and brought international condemnation. There were large protests in Kashmir and other major cities of Pakistan, during the clash with the police, two people were killed after they broke into a police station. Four policemen who allegedly opened fire at protesters been arrested and being interrogated. During the Zainab murder case probe, the police established on the basis of DNA reports of the victims that a single person was involved in at least seven rape and murder cases. Several forensic experts were sent to Kaja for DNA sampling of local population soon after authorities discovered that the rapist on the loose, in fact, is a serial killer. The police in Kaja district reported at least 11 cases of child rape and murder since 2015. The latest killing led the police to find out that the criminal they were hunting for was a serial killer. Before this, police never investigated this element. Finding a clue in a complicated serial killing case is like finding a needle in a haystack, said an investigating official while disclosing what had led to the arrest of the prime suspect in the eight-year-old Zainab's rape and murder case. A CCTV video footage which was discovered by Ansari's family members, with no help from the authorities involved, shows her accompanied by an unknown bearded man in white clothes and a jacket holding her by the hand and walking on road in Kaja. In the CCTV footage two large buttons on each shoulder of the suspect's jacket turned out to be one of the decisive pieces of evidence that helped the investigators zero in on him, said a police official from the investigation team formed to probe the Kaja tragedy while speaking to the BBC or do. An interesting point the investigation team discussed was the jacket the man in the CCTV footage was wearing. The team analyzed that the man was wearing a jacket with a button on the front side of each shoulder. However, the footage did not show the original color of the coat, which meant it could be any dark colored coat. The police recovered a black colored jacket with the same buttons at suspect Imran Ali's house. The team stated that Imran's mother also helped them apprehend the suspect. The process involved investigating the entire population of Kaja district, which is 30 million, he said. The investigation team had to narrow down the population to 60,000 to 70,000 people excluding women and the elderly. Out of them, around 1,100 had been checked for DNA, and it was the 814th DNA sample that matched with that of the killer. Punjab government announced the arrest of a suspect, Imran Ali in a press conference on 23 January 2018. Resident of Road Cot, Imran Ali, 24, also a neighbor of Zainab, is said to be a carpenter by profession. Imran had left school when he was in class 3. 
Many local residents were in a state of shock as they came to know that the serial killer, police were hunting for was in fact Imran Ali. The father of this serial killer had died a couple of months ago. Police said the killer's father had been suffering from mental illness. The suspect used to participate in religious gatherings. He was living with his two brothers and four sisters. The house of the killer is located just 120 meters away from the victim's residence. Hence, he was familiar with the child. He raped and killed at least seven children within a radius of two kilometers during two years but the police failed to trace him. The rapist was selecting the young girls with whom he was well familiar. Ali, 24, who was arrested after the rape and murder of eight-year-old Zainab in Kaja has a criminal record in Rawalpindi. A case was registered against him in Rawalpindi's Saidpur area for kidnapping a married woman. He confirmed that the DNA and polygraph test of the suspect that matched with the samples with least eight minor girls, including Zainab, raped and murdered in within the same neighborhood and that the suspect is a serial killer. Imran Ali is a 24-year-old mechanic who lived in Zainab's neighborhood. He had even taken part in protests against Zainab's murder. Imran Ali has confessed to his crimes. Police also found the jacket worn by the suspect seen on CCTV which was seen while he was taking Zainab with him. On the 17th of February 2018, an anti-terrorism court in Lahore Central Jail found Imran Ali guilty of raping and murdering Zainab Ansari. The court handed him four counts of the death penalty, one life term, a seven-year jail term and hours. 3.2 million in fines. He was sentenced to death for the rape and murder of Zainab and 12 other underage girls, and was executed on the early morning of Wednesday 17 October 2018 at Lahore's Kotlak Pat Jail. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel.